Hi everyone, welcome back for part two of our reading for National Story Reading Week. We're reading I Can See It With My Elephant Eye. If you haven't watched part one, go back and have a look, but if you have, let's get started. This is a painting I made of the virus. As you can see, it's very cute and magical but it's actually nasty because it kills people. And also, you can, cannot see it moving around, so you never know where it is. And this is a big problem. The virus is like a cute, colourful ball. But how can I see it? Where is it? It could be here, or it could be there. It could be everywhere, or it could be nowhere. Sometimes I feel sad about this change, very sad. I want to see my friends and family. I also get angry. Why did this virus come? Go away! I want to shout, go away! Sometimes I push it away in my sleep and I believe it's just a bad dream, that nothing has changed, but then I wake up and I know that it is real, that it is here. Where though? It seems to me that this virus is like a fear, something that you are scared of. Usually fears stay inside yourself, this time the fear is outside. It's not a thought, it's a thing. But again, where is it? Maybe this is the strangest thing to get your head around. You cannot see the virus, nobody can. Apparently, you can do some tests, though it's hard to do lots of tests for something like this. At least this is how my mum and dad explained it to me. I have lots of fears inside me and sometimes I think about them having different colours. I have the dark purple fear, the white fear, and I will tell you more about them later. My big sister seems to be fearless. She never talks about her fears. My parents neither. Everyone seems to be so brave. I don't know why. I am suspicious of the grown-ups. They always want to appear in control and calm, but I know that often they are not. I can feel it. When I am next to them like now, when we go out, I know they are scared, though they never tell me so. They always tell me, don't worry Carolina, everything is alright. Why do they always hide the truth from me? I know that there are all these deaths happening, which is very sad. But again, nobody ever talks about death. Even before the virus, nobody mentioned death. Everyone gets very worried. So I imagine it is something horrible. Maybe for the person dying, it's not so bad. When you are dead, you don't have feelings, so you are not suffering. Nobody can ever tell you what it's really like to die, because if you are dead, you are dead, and you cannot speak, we're all right. So we are left with only our imagination. Sometimes our imagination is worse than reality. Sometimes it is better. Have a look at this drawing. I made it looking at a rug, a Persian rug. And look what came out, a big elephant with that adorable eye. I love the eyes of elephants, I always have. They are so deep and kind and wise and old. I think they are honest eyes that tell the truth. I so wish I could speak to an elephant now. I trust he would tell me what is going on clearly. Well at least as clearly as his eyes can see. That is the truth. It's about being honest. Can you see the elephant eye? Do you like it as much as I do? So I need to imagine that I am an elephant and look inside myself with those kind eyes that tell the truth. And I will try as much as possible to tell you what it is that I find inside myself. So just one more part to go. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Thanks for watching. See you for part three.